Think of each section in your writing like a new scene in a movie. You wouldn't just jump into a new scene without any context, would you? Imagine watching a movie where scenes abruptly change without any introduction or transition. It would be confusing and jarring. The same principle applies to writing. Section introductions act as mini introductions, guiding your reader smoothly from one idea to the next. They provide a roadmap signalling what's coming and why it matters. Without them, your writing can feel choppy and disconnected. A well-crafted section intro sets the stage for the information that follows, making it easier for your readers to digest and understand. It's like a friendly guide, gently leading your audience on a journey through your writing. So, don't underestimate the power of a strong section intro. It's a small detail that can make a big difference in the readability and impact of your work. Now that we understand the importance of section intros, let's explore how to write ones that grab your reader's attention. Think of your intro as a mini hook for each section. Just like a good fishing hook, your intro needs to be enticing. Start with a concise summary of what the section will cover. This sets the stage for the information to come. Keep your intros concise, engaging and relevant. Avoid rambling or going off on tangents. Questions are incredibly powerful tools in writing. They can transform a passive reader into an active participant, prompting them to think critically and engage with your content on a deeper level. When you ask a question, you invite your reader to pause, reflect, and formulate their own thoughts and opinions. Think about it. When someone asks you a question, it automatically triggers a response in your brain. You can't help but start searching for an answer. This is the power of questions. Incorporating questions into your section intros is a great way to pique your reader's curiosity and encourage them to keep reading. For example, instead of simply stating, time management is crucial for productivity, you could ask, do you ever feel like there's not enough time in the day to get everything done? By posing this question, you immediately connect with readers who struggle with time management and make them eager to learn more about the solutions you'll present in the upcoming section. Remember, questions are key to sparking curiosity and keeping your readers engaged. Now that you've mastered the art of asking engaging questions in your section intros, let's talk about where to place the answers. The key here is to create a natural flow of information that feels conversational and engaging. Ideally, you want to place the answer to your intro question within the same section, preferably towards the beginning. For instance, if your intro question was, do you ever feel overwhelmed by the sheer volume of emails you receive daily? You could start the section by acknowledging the common struggle of email overload and then segue into your proposed solutions. This creates a satisfying reading experience as the reader gets the answer they were promised without having to wait too long. However, you can also get creative with your answer placement. For example, you might choose to break down the answer into smaller chunks and sprinkle them throughout the section. Alternatively, you could even create a sense of anticipation by withholding the full answer until the very end of the section, leaving your reader with a satisfying aha moment. Section 5. Call to Action Inspiring Engagement and Interaction a call to action is like a gentle nudge, encouraging your readers to take the next step. Whether it's subscribing to your newsletter, leaving a comment, or sharing your content on social media, a well-crafted call to action can significantly boost engagement and interaction. The key to an effective call to action is to be clear, concise, and compelling. 
don't be afraid to be direct and tell your readers exactly what you want them to do. For example, instead of passively saying, if you enjoyed this article, consider subscribing, be more assertive and say, join our community of passionate learners by subscribing to our newsletter today. Another important aspect of a successful call to action is relevance. Your call to action should align with the content of your writing and the interests of your audience. For instance, if you're writing a blog post about healthy eating habits, your call to action could be to download a free recipe book or join a supportive online community. Section 6. Surveys and Comments Gathering Feedback and Insights Surveys and comments are invaluable tools for gathering feedback, understanding your audience and fostering a sense of community around your writing. They provide a platform for your readers to share their thoughts, ask questions and engage with you and each other. When it comes to surveys, keep them short, sweet and relevant to your content. Use a mix of multiple choice questions, rating scales and open-ended questions to gather both quantitative and qualitative data. For example, you could ask your readers to rate the helpfulness of your article on a scale of 1 to 5 or invite them to share their biggest takeaway in the comments section. Speaking of comments, make it a habit to respond to them thoughtfully and engage in meaningful conversations with your readers. This shows that you value their input and are genuinely interested in what they have to say. Remember, building a strong community around your writing is all about fostering connections and engaging in two-way communication. Section seven, bringing it all together, crafting a cohesive experience. Now that we've covered the individual elements of engaging section intros, let's zoom out and look at how to bring it all together seamlessly. The goal is to create a cohesive and enjoyable reading experience that keeps your audience hooked from beginning to end. Think of your writing like a tapestry, where each section represents a different thread. The section intros act as the knots that connect these threads ensuring a smooth and logical flow of information. When done well, your readers should effortlessly glide from one section to the next, their interest peaked and their minds engaged. To achieve this seamless flow, pay attention to the transitions between sections. Use linking words and phrases to create a natural bridge between ideas. For example, you could use phrases like building on this idea, on the other hand, or in addition to to signal a shift in perspective or introduce a new concept. Section eight, practice makes perfect, honing your skills. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting engaging section intros that captivate your readers. Don't be afraid to experiment with different approaches, try new techniques, and see what resonates best with your audience. One helpful tip is to read your writing out loud. This will help you identify any awkward transitions, choppy sentences, or sections that lack flow. If you stumble over your words or find yourself losing interest, chances are your readers will too. Another effective strategy is to seek feedback from trusted peers or mentors. Ask them to read your work with a critical eye and provide constructive criticism on the clarity, flow and engagement level of your section intros. Section nine. Conclusion, mastering the art of section intros for enhanced engagement. In conclusion, mastering the art of writing compelling section introductions is an invaluable skill for any writer. By following the tips and techniques outlined in this essay, 
you'll be well on your way to crafting writing that is not only informative, but also engaging, enjoyable to read, and leaves a lasting impact on your audience. So go ahead and put these strategies into practice and watch as your writing